Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. This time I'm going to teach you on how we are going to properly design our homepage in WordPress. First, we are going to click on edit homepage. Now, before you're going to proceed with this one, be sure that you have watched my previous videos. It's located on our WordPress playlist. Now this is our home page right here so it's kind of dull so what we're going to do is just to do some steps. Now I've created a couple of steps in here so we are going to follow these steps and we can design our home page. So I've created a couple of um, links or address from which you can find good quality or high quality images as well as they are copyright free. Okay so I've made a couple of scripts as well for the content of our home page. First is we're going to visit this site right here to get a cover photo for our website. Name of the site is pexels.com where you can find high quality or high definition images and it's free of copyright. So I'm going to search for IT education since I'm dealing with IT education for the genre of my site. Now it's up to you guys whatever topic you're going to look for for as long as it fits with the topic of your website that you're trying to create. So I think this one is good. So once it's okay, click on download. There you go. Now up next is we are going to, of course, create a logo for our website. So I'm going to use this one. It's freelogodesign.org. It's a free to use website. However, there are a couple of things that you still need to pay but for this one since we're just going to create an icon for our website we're just going to sign up and we are going to use our Google accounts for this so since this is the first time that I'm going to use this site so I still don't have any logos with me so I'm just going to click on create new logo I'm going to use my name so it will provide you with a couple of templates already so just choose a particular category for your logo so this one is good it's just minimalist and simple so i'm just going to choose the free download and there you go we already have our logo so i still don't need that one to be i still don't have to use that one but at least i already have one now in this area, this is some sort of the properties panel. This is the panel from which you can change the layout of your cover page. So I'm going to use this one, the bottom wave. This looks good. However, I'm going to change or replace the image that I have in here. So I'm going to, of course, clear the model. Click on this button right here. Then I'm going to choose the upload photo. So I have the downloaded photo right here. So I do hope that this one would look good on our homepage. Well, so far so good. Okay, up next is we are going to remove all the details or the text elements that we had a while ago. So we are going to insert a new block. So just click on the plus sign and I'm going to choose layout. So I'm going to choose the three column layout for this one. So there are plus signs. All you need to do is just to click on the plus sign right here to add a new element. Now the element that I'm going to add is the heading. Okay, so I'm going to copy this area right here from which I prepared a while ago. And I can change the size of this text element into something like smaller ones. So I'm going to choose FH5 for that. You can play with the sizes uh, as long as you are satisfied with how it looks. So I'm going to copy the other one or the description for that element or the text element and click on paste as plain text. Okay, so, so I'm going to do the same steps as what I did a while ago. So copy the heading, change the formatting and so on. Again, if this is your first time watching this one, kind of check on our previous video because I've created a couple of beginner's guide on how you're going to start your WordPress tutorial or WordPress site. So up next is I've created a new layout. 
Okay, th this time I'm going to add three columns as well. But I need to place this one on top of this one. Okay, so I'm just going to click on that arrow right there to move this element on the top. Okay, this is where I'm going to place some sort of a heading image, okay? First, I'm going to search for an image at unsplash.com. So, I'm going to make this one fast. So, all I need to do is just to search for images that has the same category as what are the heading that I have on my text elements, okay? So, I'm, I need to find three. Okay, that will do. So up next is I'm going to press the plus sign and click on image. Click on upload. Search for the image that you have just downloaded a while ago. Do the same steps on the other two. Same thing with this one. Okay, there you go. Now up next is we're going to change it to rounded style so that there is some sort of an effect and it would somehow look good and much more of course enticing to the eye so once we are going to preview it it looks like this and it's nice so once you're done with it you can just click on publish okay once you have published that one then you have successfully created your or designed your home page so same thing what you're going to do on the other pages on your wordpress site okay so that's it for now Bye guys and subscribe for more.